John Podesta smears Trump in Russia, gets humiliated as CBS's Nancy Cordes uh, drops bombshell by Robert Rich Politics World News for MadWorldNews.com. Hillary Clinton's failed campaign manager recently went on television to whine about President Donald Trump. Too bad for John Podesta, things would go horribly wrong as CBS's Nancy Cordes dropped a massive bombshell. And it was downright humiliating. The liberal left really is pathetic. For over a year now, they have been putting blame everywhere except for where it belongs. For their humiliating election loss of 2016, to this day, Hillary Clinton still finds excuses to explain why she lost the election and will not come to terms with the fact that Americans merely didn't want a selfish and corrupt criminal leading our country. Of course, she is not the only one willing to accept responsibility as just about everyone beneath her has also exhibited the same behavior. Take, for instance, John Podesta, Hillary's failed campaign manager. Just like Hillary, Podesta has been trying to find whatever else he can blame when it comes to losing the election that he was handed on a silver platter. Seeing how we've uh, most uh, recently heard news on the investigation into non-existent Russian collusion, He's once again decided to put himself in the public eye after special counsel Robert Mueller indicted 13 Russian nationals for so-called interference with the 2016 election. However, the findings provide no evidence of any collusion between these Russians or any other Russian officials in the Trump campaign in the 2016 presidential race, according to Fox News. In other words, it was just 13 Russian internet trolls with no real position of great influence. Although this proved that the entire liberal narrative about collusion was false, this isn't stopping Democrats from using it as an excuse for their loss. However, this, is, this too is a lie, according to The Hill. The intelligence community has also determined that this little Russian interference, quote, that took place during the 2016 election had no actual bearing on the election results. Of course, the left is assuring America otherwise. In fact, John Podesta did just that during a recent interview on CBS, but things would spectacularly blow up in his face while trying to bash Russia and President Donald Trump. John Podesta was stopped dead in his tracks as host Nancy Cordes dropped a massive bombshell on live television. According to Breitbart, Cordes asked Podesta why Russian operatives that allegedly interfered in the election knew to target so-called purple states like Michigan and Wisconsin, while they were ignored by the Clinton campaign. And let's just say that the line of questioning had Podesta squirming. It does beg the question, how is it that these Russian operatives new to focus on purple states like Michigan and Wisconsin, and our campaign didn't, Cordes asked. Well, of course, we spent a lot of time and energy and effort in all those states. Well, let's just take a listen before what Podesta says instead of me reading it. How is it that these Russian operatives knew to focus on purple states like Michigan and Wisconsin, and your campaign didn't? Well, of course, we spent a lot of time and energy and effort uh, in all those states. Hillary Clinton herself did not spend much time in those we, states. You know, we had, uh, Tim Kaine was there, uh, Barack Obama was in, uh, and she spent enormous time in Pennsylvania and Michigan. Sure. Uh, and, uh, and we spent a lot of uh, effort. Uh, we have more uh, staff in Wisconsin than even President Obama had in 2012. But, but I think that begs the question. I think we, we focused on the places we thought were uh, Th that were, you know, in contest, and, and uh, at the end of the day, we fell short in those states. Uh, and I think that this active measures uh, effort by the Russians uh, could have tilted the election in, uh, in Donald Trump's favor. But I think what the real issue is, uh, is, you know, how he's reacted to it. Uh, I think the real issue is, why is this man not in prison? Why is this man not in prison? Who's your daddy Podesta, right? 
I mean, are you kidding me? This man is out and about. What is the, the real problem is not Russian collusion. The real problem is, why is this man still walking free? Who allowed this man to still be walking free under these circumstances? All the information that has come out from this, about this guy. I mean, really? Really? That's the real question. Not, not Russian collusion. This is all a, 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 a smoke screen. In that context, if, we're, uh, if this is information warfare, uh, then I think he's the first draft dodger in the war. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has done nothing but tried to undermine the Mueller investigation. He hasn't implemented the sanctions that, that were passed by the Congress and that he signed uh, in reaction to the, uh, in, to the uh, uh, activities in the 20. Uh, 16 election, he's, uh, we learned this week he's ordered no uh, effort to try to get the intelligence community to get together to try to prevent uh, further activities in the 2018 election. Why do you think that is? Do you think that it's because uh, to do so would be to admit that somehow the Russians might have influenced this election? Well, you know, I think that uh, it, it, <laughs> Mr. Trump's psyche is complicated and people have uh, said a lot about uh, a, a lot about it, but he certainly can't uh, accept uh, that uh, this activity may have helped him, and I think he just uh, constantly tries to move the ball away, including what was, I think, really a despicable uh, tweet uh, about the fact that he's blaming uh, the FBI for investigating the Russia uh, investigation somehow. Uh, and I'm blaming the FBI for not arresting you. What does that tell us? What does that tell us? You see, he's talking about putting Ru uh, sanctions on Russia. That's a declaration of war at that time. What, what are you going to do? For trolls? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, let's send Podesta there. Let's send Podesta to fight. Relating that to the uh, tragic uh, uh, killings right. in Florida. But, uh, you know, I, who knows with, with Mr. Trump. But he's, he clearly, I think, has failed. Uh, in carrying out his duty as President of the United States, which is to protect our democracy. Midterm. These people de uh, protect our democracy? I mean, it is beyond me. I I'll, I'll keep quiet. ...are coming up, and it's been reported that uh, Democrats are telling your former boss, Bill Clinton, that in light of the Me Too mo movement, they, <gasps> they think he should sit it out, he should be benched, and they're not looking for him to actively campaign for them. Is that true, and do you think that that's the right call? Look, I think, you know, he uh, uh, remains, I, I think, a figure who is popular with a lot, a lot of Democrats across the country, and I think that uh, people are calling him, candidates are calling him and asking for advice, but whether he's going to be an active participant, I think that's not, uh, you know... The hashtag Me Too to have Bill Clinton. Are you kidding me? Like, you know, th th this it seems like the whole country is a joke at this point. It, I mean, it, there's, there's no other words to describe this. Anyway, moving on, because I can't take that man. John Podesta may want you to believe that Hillary Clinton was screwed out of the election by the Russians, but that's just not the case. This woman took nearly every weekend off when it came to campaigning and simply trusted her lapdogs uh, lap in the media when they told her that Donald Trump didn't stand a chance at beating her. It's not only that, she wasn't physically fit, she was sick. That, that's the reason, why are they not stating this? Long story short, this was no, uh, no one's fault except Hillary's. And those advising her not to work as hard as she should have? Are you kidding me? What a crock. You don't get to blame others when you fail to use your common sense? How about the fact that these people are criminals? They should be behind bars years ago. If the 13 Russian internet trolls knew enough to target battle states, then... Hillary should have too. It's as simple as that. No more excuses. Oh, Jesus. We're just running around in circles, folks. These people are evil. These people are evil. We're talking about her winning the election. There's something going on that, you know, that it is very, very creepy. Very creepy.
as to why these people aren't arrested a long time ago. These people care about human life? With all the information that has come out about them? Are you kidding me? We're not talking about the real issues. Those are the real issues. This is crap, actually. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.